So this week, I saw a pretty alarming chart of the amount in Google Trends that phone addiction is going up. People are Googling this, finding out how to reduce their phone addiction at a crazy rate of time. And it's really totally normal if you're watching this to see whether you have a problem. Because of course, every single day, you're using it and you're working out whether you're using it too much. Now, I am somebody that naturally tries not to use it, but I do probably spend about three to four hours on my phone across a day with a combination of work, social, and just keeping myself updated. And you're probably wondering, what is socially acceptable? But today, i am actually found three apps that I think can help your phone addiction and also help you address it in 2025. So welcome to this video. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe. And we've got a brand new newsletter. So if you like new tools and stuff like that, just new software that lands, I'm gonna pick them every week, three of them, and you're gonna get them in your inbox. So do subscribe to that below if you're interested. I'll pick good ones, I promise. And uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you're interested in new apps. So obviously the phone addiction side of stuff, there's a lot of different factors at play. A lot of it's habitual. Sometimes it's a, a relief for you to go on it and just try and get that zone at time. I know for myself, I feel guilty when I'm on it, when I've, I've got two little boys. And whenever I'm on it, I feel like I'm over using it in front of them and things like that. So everyone's guilty of it. Obviously, you want to help reduce it. So the first app on our list is one that is used by Ali Abdal, a YouTuber here with over 5 million subscribers. And it's called One Sec. And essentially, this app basically allows you access to these apps. But essentially, when you go into something like Twitter, Facebook, whatever, Instagram, it'll go into the other app, essentially forcing you to have a breather or at least pause before you go into it so that you can set an intention or an actually define what you're using the social network for. This is slightly annoying probably, but it is a trigger to stop you from trying to go into these apps all the time. If you know that you're gonna get reverted to another app, it's going to annoy you over time and you probably will just might find the act of going into those app less attractive or at least be more intentional if you're going into them. So this one is a great one and you can set it up with whatever app you are triggered by and set up that behavior as well. So number two is one called Opal. Now this one is quite big because it has quite a big vision to try and reduce scrolling. They actually tried to target the likes of Google and other companies in trying to you to use social media less and things like that. And the app essentially blocks access to certain apps and websites that you're using. And it comes with a beautiful design and insights to see where you're spending your time, to give you better feedback on whether you're being productive and also how you're improving your habits over time. It also set up goals as well for you so that you can incrementally improve how much you're spending time. So you don't have to be like one hour a week on social. You build your way to it potentially using the targets and goals they have in the app. So it's a really well designed one and the founder constantly speaks on Twitter about the relevance of the application. I'll put a video that's really interesting about it on screen now that shows their sort of vision for trying to stop you scrolling as much. So number three is a slightly different app. The first two apps only focused on you getting out of the app or disrupting a user behavior that you have. Well, there's a third app called Dumb Phone and it's an independently developed app which turns your app into the most basic phone experience ever. Now what it does is basically create a launcher type experience on your iPhone and essentially turn it in minimal mode. So it really gives you access to the things that are most important like calls, messages, camera, gives you the same phone, but just focuses the experiences on another part of it. And it's sort of a very popular trend. We've reviewed here on the channel a phone called the Light Phone 2, which essentially didn't even have a camera. It just was a block that connected via Bluetooth to your phone so that you could take it out and get calls during the day. But essentially what this does is keeps that phone's integrity, but tries to keep you out of the apps. It's quite easy to set up. There's loads of videos on how to do it. And obviously the app is a subscription based one if you want more of the benefits of it. But Dumbphone is an interesting app that you can download as a way to try 
and go back to the minimal aspect if the other ones don't feel as appealing. So phone addiction, if it's something you wanna conquer in 2025, these apps will help. But if you want to find more of them, you can jump over to toolfinder.co. We've got website blockers, distraction tools, focus tools, honestly, you name it, we've got it. And even more new AI apps, which will help you to do better. So I'll include that link in the description pop it up here as well. If you want to subscribe, do. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button because it helps more people find the video. And I look forward to helping you in more videos like this. So thank you very much. And hopefully you really get that under control. It's obviously something I want to improve on. It's, we all want to improve on it. Let's just be fair. So thanks very much. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.